Hello guys again, I'm ModHackerVJ and today I will show you how to hack uh, NES console mini classic uh, very easily so let's begin, first of all we will need the program called Haxi 2.1 2.31 sorry I will post the link in the description <coughs> come on perfect you will need to download this one right here Haxi 2.31 I already have downloaded, so all you have to do is to click it and drag and drop this file folder to the screen desktop. I already done this, so I do not need the RAR file. So now, open the Hackchi folder, go to the Hackchi application. So now, all we have to do is to plug our NES Mini to our PC and first we will we need to do this to dub the kernel that's right here because this is very very important especially if everything goes wrong and dump uh, uh, not dump uh, break your console you will be able to return it to this uh, original form so first of all we will need to click the dump kernel I think I already have done as you can see when you dump your kernel you will go to the hackage folder and go to the dump file dump folder and you will see the kernel this is very important image file I don't know email it to yourself or uh, upload it to the cloud store if you have do not lose it it's very very important so basically that's the main stuff now all we have to do is to click add more games I already have all those things so I will drag and drop them in the program Perfect. I will click open, and now we, I'm waiting to upload all the files that I have in my folder from uh, the NES games, the program. Yes to all. So now, if you don't want to dump the kernel right here in the process that I showed you before, uh, you can do this automatically when you synchronize the selected game to your NES or SNES uh, Mini. So if you forgot to do this, it's okay, it's, uh, the program automatically created a dump folder with the original kernel. Uh, that's good, we are waiting to the games to be uploaded. Now, when you synchronize your uh, games to your NES Mini or you dump your kernel, I think I recommend you to do first, dump your kernel, it's very important, uh, so yes, if you dump your kernel first you will show the instructions that it says to you, uh, press uh, the reset first for a couple of seconds and then press the power button, the power button must be shut down, not the, the red lighting, shut down, it's very very important. So now we are waiting to finish the games, the program, so I'll be back soon. Okay guys, the games are already, already uploaded in the main directory of the program, so now all we have to do is to right click, download box art for selected games, press left click. Now we are downloading the box covers for everyone in its game. So when it finishes I will come back again. 
Okay, guys, now we are done with the box covers, but there, there is another way to download the box cover. Select the random game and to click on browse. As you can see, only one, no, sorry, in Google. Click the Google, not the browse. Only one box cover. That's strange. Ah, two. Three. Okay. I will choose this one as a box cover. So now we, we will go to the settings, pages, folders, and structures. Pages split games equally. Yes, yes. And now we're going to maximum games per page folder. I set it in 45. That's the best for me. So now all we have to do is to connect our uh, NES Mini in our USB hub, uh, thumb drive, in our uh, USB port, uh, sorry. And Press the synchronize icon right here. Synchronize select games with NES SNES Mini. So now, click on this button. You need to flash the custom kernel to your NES SNES Mini. Once this, uh, this is only required once, do you want to continue? Yes. Now that's the tricky part. Make sure that the power button of NES SNES is switched off. As you can see, it's off. Reconnect the SNES, SNES Mini to PC via cable, USB, hold the reset button and now press the power button, 1, 2, 3, release the reset button and as you can see the indicator is not flashing, that's why we, uh, we, we want to succeed. Now it's on, we do not care. But first, must be shut down the flash indicator. Now the kernel is uh, dumping the custom and the original. So that's a small process, as I see. updating kernel to custom and we successfully I did 77 8 games that's pretty good
Ok. And then we are waiting for the NES to upload the games and the program to the console. Okay, now we are done, press OK, and we are good to go. Power off your NES. And we are good to eject it and test it in our TV. So, let's go. Okay, guys, now I just power off power on my NES Mini as, as you can see the games are completely in folders they are fully working so let's go and test one of them I will go and test one of my favorites come on, where it is? there it is the Tiny Toon Adventures, the first. And it's completely running. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy all of your NES Classics games, thank you for watching again one more time, and keep watching, more updates coming.